right, guys, welcome back. Have a little bit of chess for you. And it's going to seem like it's a short workout, but I'm doing three exercises, four sets each, four working sets. Of course, I'm not showing any, showing you any of the warm-ups. And I'm working out with a very good pump on chest day, but keeping it to only 12 sets, three exercises. I haven't been really doing any cables or flies, and... It's been working. So I know Ronnie Coleman uh, for years didn't do flies. Uh, of course, eventually I think he ended up doing it. Or there was one point where I know he didn't. But it seems to be working well for me. And, and I'm not worried about getting the crazy striations in my chest. I'm not worried about looking good on stage. I care more about strength and uh, being strong on the table when it comes to arm wrestling. But... Started off with the 225, busted out a few of those, and went up to the 275. I believe I stayed at 275 the rest of the time. I really didn't feel a need to go any heavier than that. I was getting a good amount of reps, which is, that's what you're trying to do. I mean, if you're trying to get stronger, yes, you want to keep on adding more weight until you max out on your one rep, but that's not what I'm looking to do. So if that's not your goal, don't worry about staying with the same weight. Worry about getting stronger every week or getting better results every week maybe not necessarily stronger just just you want to keep on excelling on everything you that you're doing everything that you're doing and if you're bodybuilding you just want to look better that's 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 what it is you want your chest to be fuller you want when you're cutting you want your muscles to have those striations but that i'm not really worried about so bust out the 275 again try to stay within 8 to 12 if i'm not getting at least eight i'll probably drop the weight a little bit if i'm doing more than 12 i'll up the weight uh and it looks like i did i get up to 295 not really sure how many i did but we can count real quick if you wanted to but it doesn't really matter like i said it matters that you're just getting better and that you're getting a crazy bump at the end so that's that's what it is uh for for chest i started with a flat barbell which i do it probably every other time i guess i, I start with uh with a flat barbell or I start with a flat dumbbell, which is very uncommon for what I'm used to. In bodybuilding, I would always start with incline. Very rarely would I start with incline machine. I'd usually start with incline dumbbells because that was the that's the best workout I think for your chest for getting it big and bubbly. But that's not really my goal anymore. So a little weird for me starting off with flat every time, but it is what it is. You have to adapt. If you want to get better at something, that's that's what you have to do. You have to get better at doing those movements that help you out the most where you're trying to, in my case, get better on an arm wrestling table. And Flat is going to be the one that helps me out the best, helps me out the most with that. And even with the flies, I, I can see how that would be because the movement, you're, you're pulling across your body. So it's kind of like adding a little bit of side pressure. But I think just doing the actual heavy flat uh, dumbbell or barbell is going to help out even more. So I'll throw back in the flies eventually, just haven't really felt the need. So once I feel the need, then I'll throw it in. And uh, after the flat, I am doing incline machine. And great, great workout. I mean, it's a great, great exercise. But once again, uh, if you're trying to do bodybuilding or powerlifting, I wouldn't recommend the machines all that much. For me, I'm just trying to, to get a crazy bump with this one. Me starting off with the flat, that's what I care about. But the machine, what you just saw me doing is I can bust out a few more. Maybe I guess you could do that on the on the Smith machine as well. But on the machine, you're able to get out a few more half reps that you normally wouldn't be able to do on dumbbells or barbell. Unless you have a spotter, which I never work out with a spotter. So if you have the luxury of having a spotter, I guess you can get a few more forced reps or half reps. But for me, the if I'm going to do that, I'm going to have to go over to a machine, which I do end my workout with the the flat so this is just going to mimic the same exercise that i'm doing either with a barbell or dumbbell for flat it's only i'm sitting straight up and i'm doing the machine for it and what you don't see in the video is i take shorter rests when i do the machines when i do the the dumbbells or the flat like with the barbell i'll take maybe a minute minute and a half break uh, depending on how i'm feeling but on the machines, I'm usually taking about 30 seconds. It takes me longer to move the camera 
over and then get right back on it. So, I mean, I'm taking very short rests in between, and that's what's keeping the blood flow into my chest as much as possible. So, yeah, I mean, uh, nice, easy chest day, but most importantly, I walked out with a crazy pump, which that's what matters. Talk to you soon.